episode of Cap TV. We are here live from December to remember in Lindbrook, New York, the past show that Creative Pro held here. And we have an insane show planned to happen tonight. And I am honored to be here to host this episode of Cap TV. Again, I'm your host, Jack Tomlinson of Jack Tomlinson Vlogs, Creative Pro's resident vlogging wrestler. Bessler, you know how it is. But not only is December to remember happening today, we have a very important Cap TV announcement happening today as well. Cap TV has become such a massive success that we are now introducing a new title here to Creative Pro Wrestling. It is the Creative Pro Television Championship. And a tournament will be held for that title, which will kick off here tonight. And I'm showing you the first match of that tournament, which is happening at December to remember, right here, right now. And it is between Jesse Hurst and Cliff Marshall. All right. Kicking off the show with the first round of the Cat TV title tournament. A huge 32-man tournament for the vacant Into Cat TV title. First. Hailing and I quote, unfortunately from Lindbrook, New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Jesse Hurst. So you heard him say it, Jesse Hurst is from Lindbrook. Yeah, he is the hometown boy. He is the hometown baby. Introducing his opponent, hailing from the great outdoors, weighing in at 188 pounds, Cliff Marshall. Cliff Marshall always looks like he's about to go on a hike. I'm interested to see how these two competitors square off against each other. Cliff Marshall always seems to have something up his sleeve, or backpack rather. Yeah. And he always seems to get himself in and out of sticky situations. He's always prepared. Always prepared. Can't deny that. And here we go. Oh, oh, little aggression. Oh, and they're right back into it. These two have fought in the past. Yes. All right. Seems to be breaking the arm of Cliff Marshall. And an interesting sequence by Marshall to reverse that. Both competitors now seems to, and Cliff Marshall. This is exactly fails. what I was talking about, about Cliff Marshall. I don't think Jesse Hurst realizes that Cliff Marshall is on the outside, but he seems to be getting into it. Oh, oh. Definitely blown up now. Yep. I think he finally realizes that Cliff is kind of toying with him at this point. Oh, a little reversal there. I don't think Switch Jesse rolls. Hurst wanted water. And again, just toying with Jesse Hurst, and he's getting him pretty upset. You could actually see the frustration on Jesse's face. I tell you this, once he gets his hands on Cliff, Cliff is going to... Yes, Jesse is one dangerous man. But Cliff... Like we said before, always prepared. A lot of dosy doing early in this contest. And, and, oh, and, and they seem to be all the way to the back. Wow. Can we get a cameraman back there? I don't know. Folks, I apologize. I don't know what's going on just as much as you are. Oh, no. Oh, and they're, and they're back. The chase continues. I hope they did cardio this morning. Cliff is just... And they're out of there. A lot of running. Interesting 
start to this matchup. Yeah. Interesting way to start this uh, this tournament off. Oh, and we got him and back. And there's more of the chase. Cliff begging him to stop. Jesse just doesn't seem itching to, give any to get off. his hands on Cliff Marshall. I don't know about you, but I am exhausted just watching yeah. this. I can't imagine how they are right now. And the ref started counting. Hopefully, they got oh, to get this. We got. Oh, wait. Jesse seems to run out here, but seems to have oh, where's possibly Cliff lost Marshall? Cliff. It seems that he has lost Cliff. Where is Cliff Marshall? That's the question. This is why I never liked Cliff. For stuff right this. See, Steve. He pulls stuff like this. It's supposed to be an Cliff. important match for the Cap TV title, round one. Cliff is a thinking man, Steve. I'm sure this is part of his game plan. Or he's lost. I'm not too sure. Jesse. Visibly upset is Jesse Hurst. Yep. I don't think this is how Jesse thought he would start this tournament. And, and it seems that, what do we got over here? Some type of, some type of camouflage technique? And I think I am very- is that, is that Cliff? I think that might be Cliff Marshall in disguise. Oh! And oh. it is! Oh, it could be over. Oh. Jesse Could have been out. it. Ooh! And a big back elbow from Jesse Hurst. Jesse Hurst he has, has had, had enough, enough of this, these games. He wants, he wants that brand new Cap TV uh, title. Stiff right hands. And another kick out. I think Cliff Marshall may have toyed with them a little too much. A little. Oh. He's got him up. Looks like a body. Ooh! You just feel the impact from that one. Looks like it took the wind out of Cliff Marshall. See, I don't think this looks good for Cliff. Now he has to wrestle in that ghillie suit. I feel like it gives Jesse more to grab onto and making Cliff more of a target. Oh, but maybe I was wrong. Oh, and Cliff has Jesse up now. Oh, excellent maneuver. Can he bring it home? Oh, he does. Wow. And Cliff Marshall He's advances. Cliff Marshall. He advances to the second round of the Cap TV tournament. Would you look at that, folks? Wow. Interesting start to this tournament. There will be more matches to follow on Cat TV. You can catch that Mondays, 7 p.m. on YouTube. So far, Lynn Brooke has been shook no pun intended, by Creative Pro Wrestling, December to Remember. The first half of the show is done. We are about to commence with round two of this insane show. No pun intended again, December 2. But can we talk about what happened so far tonight? We started off the night with the match that literally screams Cap TV. You guys just saw it. The first round, the first match of the new Cap TV Championship has happened, and I got so confused with the back and forth. I mean, I was all over the place, like trying to watch it and trying to focus. But it is official. The first person to move on in the Cap TV Championship tournament is Cliff Marshall. No disrespect to Jesse Hurston there. Not a bad effort. He did a great job. They both did a great job. Everyone so far tonight has done a great job. But. I did have my own match here tonight where I teamed up with Bear Bronson to take on Johnny Clash and his goon. 
and the match was for a title shot for Bear. And I got pinned, and thanks to me, Bear does no longer have a shot at his title. So right now, I need to go find him. I need to take a break from Cassie V. I have to find him, and I need to make sure he knows that I tried, and, I, and I'm sorry, but it, it can't be the end for him. I have to find him. Hey, Bear. Hey. Listen, man, I, I want to apologize for what happened out there. That match for, was for you to win and for you to get your shot at your title, and I cost you that. I, you didn't get pinned, and now you don't have a shot at, again at your title, and I, I feel bad. I, needed to, I just needed to let you know that. I'm sorry for letting you down. No. No, you... No, you didn't let me down. I was out there. I was right out there with you. I saw. I saw you pour your heart out into that match. They pulled the carpet straight out from under you. Okay, that's not your fault. And when they had you right where they wanted you, you stayed alive. And you did that for me, and I respect that. Of course. Okay? And the, it's, not, it's not all your fault. Okay? Because when you finally, when you finally persevered, when you finally persevered, get the hell out of here! When you finally persevered, when you did make that tag, and I had them right where I wanted them, I could have, I could have put them away, but I didn't. I didn't because I've had so many. Listen, I've had so many sleepless nights. So many where I've just, I had, to, I had to know. I had to know who it was. That cost me my title in that dog collar match. I had to know. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. And Jack, thank you. You, you're one tough son of a bitch. And you have my respect. Thank you, Bear. Thank you. And just know that when I do win that title, because this thing between me and John, it's not over. And when I do win that title, you're first in line. See you later. Well, that is a wrap here at Creative Pros December to remember, as you see, we are getting ready to take all the equipment down. But I would like to recap what was a phenomenal show, a show that was definitely to remember. Let's, let's start over. All right, I already talked about tonight's first match, the first match in the Creative Pro Television Championship match. Cliff Marshall did pick up the victory, but the action rolled on there tonight as we had the Galaxy's Greatest Alien, Chris Statlander, take on Ariella Nix. Now, Ariella, she may have uh, had a, a little bit of an elevation in that match. Uh, me with the puns all night. I'm just throwing puns out, but Ariella did pin Chris Statlander. Where, however she did it, it happened. That, is the, that was the outcome of the match. But we move on to the next match, which was a karaoke match between EJ Risk and VSK. And those two put together, once again, a phenomenal match that made Creative Pro history. But ultimately, VSK came out with the win, and it left EJ Risk in the ring singing, Man, I Feel Like a Woman. That's a song to sing, but we rolled on to the next match. That was my match. You guys saw how that was. Phenomenal bout, no disrespect from my end all around. Fair, thank you for the opportunity. But the action continued there tonight where we had Creative Bros own owner and head trainer, Pat Buck, in action against Shane Douglas, where Pat did pick up the win, bringing the pride to Creative Pro. But Pride for Creative Pro was running wild all night as when we came back from intermission, we had Cap New York taking on Cap New Jersey. What a phenomenal match. Two great teams, but Cap New York did pick up the win. Johnny Collins may have made some uh, decisions I wouldn't have made against his own team to win, but nevertheless, all I care about is Cap New York getting that W, and we did just that, get the W. And we rolled on, more tag action. We had the Steves taking on the Breakfast Club. And thanks to their special guest in their corner, Mikey Whitbreck, they were able to pick up the win against those darn Steves. 
But December to remember would not have been as big of a, a show to remember if it wasn't for our phenomenal main event between the Shook Crew and once again a dynamic team of Dorian Graves, Tibbs, and Hornswoggle. Where in the end they hit that big shield power bomb and picked up the victory against the Shook Crew. I have to say. Creative Pro, you never disappoint me, you never disappoint the fans, and neither does Cap TV, guys. If you are new here to Cap TV, I don't know what I don't know what more I have to show you to prove that this is the place to be every Monday night at 7 o'clock p.m. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel down below. Join the Cap family and once again return every single week. I love you all, Creative Pro loves you all, and we will see you all next week on Cap TV. Good night everyone.